high-end stores. If you go on Pottery Barn or West Elm or Anthropology, any of the high-end websites, they use a lot of glass items. You can easily recreate some of those high-end looks with products from the thrift store. So here is some of the glassware at the thrift store. What really stood out to me was this piece right here. It's $2 and it has this really cute lid. So we're gonna go ahead and pick that up and do a DIY with it. This next project is really simple. You could probably do it with anything that you already have at your home. I'm gonna start by just cleaning the jar off and then I'm gonna create a fun tassel. I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree yarn that I already had on hand and I'm gonna cut off a long piece that's going to fit around the top of my jar. Then I grabbed just a piece of cardboard that I had that was about four inches long and I started wrapping my tassel around till I wrapped it around about 40, 40 times I think. Next I'm going to cut cut off the bottom and I'm gonna take some clear hair ties and I'm gonna wrap them around holding in that longer piece that I had to put on my jar. And this is just gonna hold everything in place. Then I'm gonna take an additional piece of green yarn on the back and I'm just going to wrap it around. Now this varies depending on the project that I'm doing. Sometimes I wrap it around a couple, sometimes I go like 10 or you know, 10 times. So it just kind of depends on the look that you're going for for your tassel. Then hot glue it to the back, cut off the excess. I like to trim it down so the ends of the tassels are as even as possible. I was imagining this in my bathroom. I thought it would be great sitting out with cotton balls. So I came across these really cool looking bottles. They're $1.50. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I also think this bottle is really cool as well. Most designers decorate homes with very neutral decor. Think tans and browns and whites and creams and blacks and woods. So if you're wanting to achieve a high-end look, you wanna concentrate on using that sort of color palette in your decor items. Now that doesn't mean you can't have any color. You can always choose one or two accent colors to incorporate into your decor, but going with neutral pieces is going to help you achieve that high-end look. And just remember, if some Something at the thrift store is not already in a neutral color scheme. You can always adjust the color to make it the color you want. So my thrift store has a big section of cutting boards. So I'm going to grab this one. It's $4. It needs a little work. So let's get it in DIY. Start by using my orbital sander and I'm gonna link the one that I use down below. I use this all the time. And I'm just going to go over this piece until I get all of that polyurethane and natural finish off of it. After I'm done sanding, I'm gonna wipe it down to get any dust or debris off of it. Next, I thought this would be cool to add in some fun handles. I picked up some really cute handles at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to find the center point and measure in an inch and then make it in the center. Then I'm gonna use my drill to create a hole. Make sure whenever you get handles at Hobby Lobby that you do on the 50% off day so it's not as expensive. Next, I'm just gonna add on the handles and put the little washer on the back. Now, since I put the washer on the back, this made this stand up a little bit. So to fix that problem, I'm going to add on some feet to the bottom just by adding in some wood beads that I had. All of the things I'm using will be linked down in the description box. I'm envisioning this tray sitting out on a table. It would also be great for a coffee table as well. I was so excited when I came across this old accordion organizing, I, I don't I guess they're called hangers, for only $3.50. These are very in right now. I have a couple in my house, so I had to pick it up. So my idea for this is I went to Walmart and I bought a wood burning tool. Now I've never used this before, so I was kind of experimenting with it on this little board. I do recommend doing that. You also have to be so careful whenever you're using this because it is super hot. 
So I started on one side, just kind of adding in some lines and some dots, and I did that, nothing too crazy. Then I decided to have fun and experiment, so I changed out the tool and added this little teardrop shape, which I thought was pretty cool. In the end, I think this turned out really cool. It's super subtle, but I think it looks great. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.